You think Shinrel needs a trip to the fashion district? No. Shinrel is an Ashlander and she is proud of her of her Ashlander garbs. Oh no, she's good with that. She's good with that. Bring some style to the yurt. We'll do that. Hey Machu, you're actually leveled up. Nice. Leveling up does nothing. It brings pride. Okay, sad with Mora. That way. Unless I mean I don't want to be too lazy. But where's the there it is. Hello lady. Oh you're a guar tamer. Talk to me. Hello traveller. Would you like to buy one of my smart guars? Just ask if you are interested. Absolutely. We love guars. They're cute. And these are smart. My guars are the very best you you can find all over Vardenfeld. They are strong and loyal. We like that. They can carry heavy loads over great distances, help you in a fight, follow you almost everywhere, cure themselves by eating the proper herbs and improve their abilities with experience. The smartest and strongest can even be, be ridden. Let me know if you want to buy a guar burden. Well, tell me about the follow you almost everywhere. Smart guards can accompany you when you are teleporting and even wrap to you from great distances. Well, as long as you help develop their intellect by feeding them the proper alchemical ingredient. Love that. This is Abbott's mod, Guars, and it's just brilliant. I'll have to learn to write it properly. Um, Septims. Ooh, onions. These are hard times, isn't it? Poof. <laughs> Norm, I love how you're helpful. Uh, solidarity. I like that. Uh, what else? Proper herbs. A smart guar can sense when it has become diseased and as long as it can find the appropriate alchemical ingredient, it can take advantages of their magical benefits to heal itself. I even remember seeing a frightened guar of mine levitating for the first time after eating a fallen racer plume. <laughs> wow. If you like, I can sell some of the useful ingredients. I don't think I can afford much of that, but we'll have a look. What about the guar burden? You buy it, then burden the guar. Simple. The smarter the guar, the better the burden you can use. Or you can try and see if you are able to tame a smart guar that has been lost or gone wild. If you dare. But do not bother attempting to burden regular wild guars in this way, Domna. Our methods only work with the smartest of guars. We fight in the sixth house, let's do that. I'm with you guys. Okay, how do I tame a smart guar? If you happen to find a lost smart guar, you can usually claim it as yours. Beware though, for grown guars do not like to take orders from strangers, and without a guar burden, you will probably have to show the guar who is the master. Okay, how do I do that? Yes, knock it down, then cast a command spell. I prefer love and patience as a method, but I'm sure you have to save the world or some such. It is true, it is true. And don't have the time for such things, do you? Cast a command spell. You could use any command creature spell, and yes, I can teach you a simple tame creature spell for a mere 300 drakes, which I do not have. But don't I have... Oh, it's a calm. Not good enough. I only have a cult weight. White empathy. Uh -oh. So if I find a guar, they say knock it first. That means I have to punch it until it's unconscious. It's a bit brutal, honestly. <laughs> yes, it's a fair point, Norm. If it was really smart, it would tame itself. I know. Apparently they're not that smart just yet. And I can imagine, yes, how straining your guar, putting newspapers everywhere. I joined twice. I can die twice now. Did you join twice, really? Oh well. Don't knock him up until you tame him. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay, I have the spell. That's good. 
Okay, that's good. What about the Guar Burden? Is that it? <laughs> yes. About that. 5,000 septims, I do not have them. And the day I have them, I will buy the Pack Guar Usage Notes. But until now, it's not going to do me any good. This is good, restore health, and it's cheap. I want it. This is also restore health and cheap, so let's buy it. Thank you. And you should be... No, you're the Guar. Where can you take me? Only to the other camps. I was... Because the other one could take me to... Molagmar. I was kind of hoping that this one will have a, a different destination that I can uh, use, but no. I'm slightly tired. Slightly tired. 10 points of intelligence. Bam! After that, you're going to want to sleep like all day long to be as smart as possible. <laughs> 5,000 septims. That's a Huawei robbery. Not bad. Not bad. Guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it up to you if you feel that someone deserve the extra pun points then you want to go pun points and then you put the name of the person without caps and that's how you that's how you give the the pun points user doesn't have any pun points yet because user doesn't exist as for me let's do this our first big trek i wish i had a a bedroll at least or should we try to make more potions? Actually, yes. Knock, knock. Hello, wise woman. Typically, the wise women like me. Oh, look at that. It's gorgeous. Yes, madame. What is it? Madame. Oh, I like that. Tell me about the Zainab. I do not know what you heard of us, Outlander, but if it is a compliment, it is probably true. There is nothing as true as a compliment, as well as nothing as false, is a Zainab saying. The Zainab are what we need to be when we need to be, and still live as true velothy. Fair enough. Yes, pun points can be traded for watermelon, indeed. And watermelons, well as a discord currency will be very useful someday Ta -ta. i can't say more because i don't know more do you have counsel for me for you ashlander my counsel is free because it is worthless to you but someday perhaps you will have a problem you can solve then perhaps you'll bring it to me and perhaps i will help you for a price oh my you're very very useful Potions, I'd rather make my own. And spells, I cannot afford them. Cure poison, I already know that. It's a power, but hopefully I'm not going to need it for too much. Do you mind if I, you know, make a few potions here? Thank you. Uh, wait, I should rest. Because to make potions with low intelligence, not great. Seven hours should do, I think. So you're just going to barge right into... <laughs> nice. That's definitely worth a pun point. I'll, I'll personally give it to you, Machu. Two thousand and one hundred. Where does that come from, Machu? How do I give pun points? My goodness, it's been such a long time since we actually gave pun points. Uh, let me double check. Ah, just pun. There you go, your very first pun point. No luck with the secret word, people. It's a quest item of a quest that the shaman has already solved. She solved it. She didn't know how to spell it, but she solved it. Let's rest. 
seven hours. Fully rested, slightly thirsty, slightly hungry. There's no winning with this, is there? And I don't even have a button. Do I like that? No. Belladonna berries are just not filling enough. Okay, at least I have the intelligence. So let's make the potions. And we want we want to make restore health. Lots of salt tries, that's good. Weak wheat. No, probably not. That's fatigue. Marshmallow will do. You're feeling hungry. <laughs> Belladonna is also poisonous. True, 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 true. I should probably not eat that. Fortunately, it didn't kill me. Okay, we've made a couple of potions. Corp bulb for restore health. Unfortunately, most of the items that restore my health are also edible. Oh, Hakaloi's restore fatigue. I can make a few, but I'd rather use barnacles, for example. Don't ask me how barnacles replenish your, your stamina, but they do. Okay, we have a few potions. Thank you for your hospitality. It is true. The Zainab are very, very hospitable people. There we go. You should be punished for all the bad puns. We've had that one before actually, Machu, but... You know what? You're just getting started. And right here there is a tomb. Now, if you remember my bard, she would go into the tombs and she would loot them. But, as someone who worships the ancestors, we're just not going to do that. We're going to go and we're going to make an offering. The undead around might want to kill us because they just don't know. Oh, you are ugly. You see, they're undead. They're not spirits. I'm just giving away virtual... Yes. Yes, I am. Just, you know. We're just getting started. I am going to go with that. No, 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 don't, don't attack me. Ghosty, do your thing, hand to hand increasing. I really need to find, um, is my ghost dead already? Oh, and I'm diseased. I'm gonna need to find a dummy to practice. My my skill is increasing. I just wish the damage was increasing. I don't have yes I do. How are you nearly dead? Pfft! I just knocked him silly, didn't I? Bones. Oh, they're ingredients. Okay. And I can make a potion to summon creatures? Well, that's new to me. We're not here to loot. We're not here to loot. We're not here to loot. Wait, which one is mine? Just go at it, ghosties. That was mine, okay. Mine is the dead one, what do you know?
How was that combo? I think I did punch, punch, forward. Yes, summoning a ghost to fight another ghost is uh, not great, but it's half dead. Just die indeed. That's that's what I say all the time. Ah, you buddy. You're out of stamina, which is silly for a ghost. Wow, my hand-to-hand -hand is increasing very fast. Which I find a little worrying. gonna need a lot of these potions at this rate I have your yeah indeed <laughs> well one fight this is like four points in my skill five almost gotcha You'd better have some loot, buddy. That works. Do I have a cure disease spell that I can use? This is restore health. No, I'm gonna have to use my power. I think I'm going to use it once I've cleared the tomb, just in case I, I you know, find another enemy. What did I miss? Um, da 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 da. Commands won't work without it. Carries head in nuke of arm. Mm -hmm. Like the, the headless knight. Bad idea that will mess up your balance since you're in 17. Yeah, maybe maybe I should just take them off. I mean, wait a second. Armor 11. I don't know if it shows because of the overlay. Armor 11. Take the boots off. Armor 13. Take the armor off. Armor 18. That's it. I'm gonna have to go barefoot now on them. That's what I need to do. Let's just keep the heels for now. Their noses would remember if you're planning the, the timpani mod. Flatulence based attack. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a little dark in there, isn't it? Unfortunately, I don't have a torch and I don't know light, so we're gonna have to, you know, be strong. Wow, my the undead resisted my turn on that spell. Yep, you really resist it. Then fine, fine, fine. <laughs> I like the the commands I'm making as I'm fighting. maybe I should try to do power attacks and I really need to find those combos with end to hand so I can uh, fight more efficiently okay the nose I think I'm doing a mixture of forward and uh, and standing attack. Ideally, I would find a book. There are books in uh, in the world that actually describe the the attacks. You can do the combos you can do with each type of weapon. 
There was a joke mark that takes showcase a while ago. Okay, can we proceed now? Okay, all the undeads resist my spell to turn them away. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Not a <laughs> okay, that was not a good door to try and escape from because there's an enemy behind it. Darn. Seriously, it's gonna be so hard to pray to the ancestors in those conditions. So, turn undead, I think we can forget about it. Can I use that already? No, not yet. Absorb health. Oh, that could be useful. Ghosty, you do your thing. Except I'm failing. That thing is possibly too strong for me. Darn, dead end. Eep. Oh, I know I was thinking that if I hide behind the door, you know. I failed. Well, stop failing. All right. This guy is too strong for me. I really wanted to go, you know, to the main room and pray to the ancestors, but I'm just too weak. <laughs> so this is as far as I go. It's not, it's not for a lack of, a, you know, motivation. I'm just not strong enough. Let's get rid of that disease though. I like that. I am practicing to try and get used to third person. Hakalo, if anything, it's uh, edible and we like that. Let's practice jumping in our heels. I'm not sure that traveling at night is the wisest thing to do. But I believe we may have found a place to go. Just in case, I'll get my ghost ready. Hello, ladies, you will die. Okay. I just got one shot. I mean, what? What are you, what are you doing? Clearly, I'm just strong enough to. I don't know. Stay in the wise women yurt and uh, 
and do nothing. Ow! One shot and there's three of them. And my little fists of punchiness are mm, not great. I do have a few healing potions, but they're not going to keep me you know, alive very long if one hit. I'm going to have to stay away from these people as well. Why has onion on your splash screen? Did you see onion on my splash screen? That was on the table? I don't know. I don't think that onion. Was that you? <laughs> Is there something we really need to know about you? Okay. That's to command a creature. I could... I could convince a creature to come and fight for me. No, let's just avoid them. I'm I'm just not strong enough just yet. I was really kind of hoping I would, you know, be able to sit by the fire, share Ashlander tales with them. I guess I'm just too naive, that's what's happening here. At least I'm collecting quite a bit of a uh, weak wheat and hackalo. There. And we're gonna have to do some swimming as well. True story. And you notice that the way the way I'm putting it there, it's because the undead were hostile, not because I was weak. It's um it's a different thing. I spit it. Yeah, later that night I spotted a national in the campfire, but I decided to keep my distance. Call it sixth sense. I felt that maybe, just maybe, it was not a good idea to go to them. Feminine instinct, sixth sense, call it what you want. Oh, that was definitely his dignified hat. True, true. All right, let's uh, keep going towards civilization, shall we? Okay, now we're gonna want to swim, but as we do that, we really swim the shortest distance possible. But that's good, that's good for healing potions. So we're going to quietly something is blocking me here, that's odd. Let's go around. We're going to harvest all of it. Uh, come on it's like the the bounding box of the marshmallow is a lot bigger so I kind of kind of get close to it or through it it's very odd do I have telekinesis Honestly, using magic to harvest plants because otherwise I can't reach them.
there. Okay, we're good. That's so odd. I think their their bounding boxes are just really large. Sacritun indeed. Okay, I'm sorry guys, this is taking time, but healing potions, they sort of disappear very quickly these days. Why didn't that slot work? No, did you explode me? Oh. Why would you why would you do that? Try again, try again. That's a good fish, okay. Oh. Shells? No luck. Well, I'm going to improve my mysticism just by casting the spell often enough that I can pick up a few plants. Yep. It's a good thing I, I have uh, graphic herbalism as opposed to advanced herbalism because you know you have a skill and and that means you fail picking up more often than not at least at the beginning okay let's say I've picked up enough I think I saw yes there okay there's a pearl you know what let's use the lechinesis oh there's so many of them Fish, this thing attacking me. Where's the, where's the island? Yeah, come on. Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, that's fine. We survive. We survive. We're good. <sighs> Quick save. Sacre bleu. It sounds a little bit like that, doesn't it? It reminds me of when I was playing with window glow and the light rays coming from the interior window during the day would block the NPC standing near them. It's that sort of a, yes, same uh, effect, isn't it? That's weird, but I mean, at least I have, uh, I have the spell, so... Salt rice is good. It's good. Uh oh. Huh. Morrowind crashed. For no reason. Out of the blue. I cannot believe nobody thought of the secret word. Come on. I haven't done a uh, green screen. Hmm? 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 I haven't done that many quests, guys. Actually, only a very few amount of quests. I've done one quest, that's it. And for that I had one item that was required of me. Okay. Hmm. What is that creature? You're hungry? Are you? Not yet. Good. And who is cooking? You? The fish, the, sorry, the cheese? Well, the cheese is more of your thing. Yeah, you just put it in the plan. <laughs> just put it in the pan and flip it after a while. I could do it. It's up to you. Sorry, food negotiation. Yes, Machu, it was meat indeed. 